let's try to see how well uh, this code compares to an actual uh, professionally written machine learning uh, approach. So there is one package uh, that a lot of people, most researchers use, use for machine learning involving things like regression, uh, and that's called sklearn. And we're going to import from the linear, linear model sublibrary, we're going to import linear regression. Uh, and so we're going to use the, the same x and, and y data. So I guess we're ready to use it. So linear regression Uh, let's see, regression, the way you use it here is comma fit, next comma y. Oops, small y. Uh, let's see if we get any error messages. Ah, okay, so it, it complains about this, which is clearly the Y, right? Because there's only one column. So maybe it doesn't like, um, maybe it's not so happy with this. So let's, actually let's give it both, or let's recompute. Uh, both the X and the Y. Okay, no error messages, that's great. So it looked like it, it works. And so uh, now the model basically has found the, the best parameters uh, and we can, we can print that out. So uh, like this. So these are the coefficients. Okay, I fiddle around with it a little bit. I don't know why that didn't work, but it sure does now. Uh, so these are the coefficients. So these are the Ws. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that. Uh, so we have to remember that, yeah, that there is only six values here, uh, because it, the intercept or the bias, uh, is in a separate spot. like this. Okay, so what's the error on this? So, so we can predict the y values based on the x values. Uh, we can compute an error just like before. This is it. So actually I can just copy this code um. Yeah, okay, so the L2 error is 0.69, so we still have a ways to go here. And so that's why these values are a little bit different. So let's see if we can get there by increasing the epochs. So now we're running a million. Go Python. Okay, so we're shooting for 0.69. Oh, that looks promising. Now we're shooting for 0.690. Are we going to get there? No, it's, yeah. Well, we're certainly going to get closer. Ah, okay. So you can see now that the, the values are actually starting to approach each other for, for, the, for the weights. Right? So they're getting, there's still a ways to go here, um, but, but it's getting there. So our code is getting uh, the, the same 
type of thing. It's heading definitely heading in the same direction. Uh, maybe you, you want to uh, try 10 million uh, and see if that works for you. But anyway, so this is the exact, so we've written code now that basically does exactly the thing as a professionally written uh, machine learning linear regression code.